ask the opinion of a head teacher. Let's talk to Simon Kidwell, who is the head of Hartford Manor Primary School and Nursery in Cheshire. Hello, very good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jane. So it's it's a billion in total for schools in England. Uh, your thoughts, first of all, on is that welcome? What will you do with it? What are the priorities for you? It is a welcome announcement, Jane, because last week we were talking about um, the Prime Minister mentioned a huge summer of catch up. And we know that summer schools are not as effective as actually providing long term support for children. So it feels like the government has listened. It feels like it's giving head teachers and schools the independence and autonomy to go and choose which catch up programmes are best for their school. So I think it is welcome and especially the fact that they're not directing us to do four weeks of summer school, which we know is a very expensive and sometimes it doesn't have as much uh, gains as you do with long-term tuition. And so is your gut feeling that, that that's not something you'll be doing, that you'll be ploughing this into once things resume in, the, in September in the regular academic term? Yes, because we know that I know the children haven't been engaging with uh, online learning uh, will come to a summer school. So we'll be starting in September, targeting those pupils, uh, making sure we work with partners to get the very best high quality tuition and where they can also liaise with their class teachers to make sure that um, children work on the right things. And when you say that you have children who haven't been engaging with the online learning, what is that because they just don't have the right equipment, they don't have a good broadband connection, all the basics that of course have to be in place, or is it is there more than that? What's actually been going on? Yeah, there's, there's certainly a digital divide, and I wish before this pandemic outbreak we'd done more to address the digital divide within our school community. We have purchased some IT equipment, so there's access um, issues, but there's also motivational issues. Uh, I think all the head teachers I talk to across Cheshire say there's been a, a falling off in the amount of uh, the children have done online because it's been a long time now. The children have had 12 weeks out of school, so I think um, it's been really hard for families to keep up that motivation. And as families have returned to work, it's been hard. For for children to, uh, to stay as motivated as they could online. Teaching is a social activity and it's done best in the classroom. There's been some great stuff at, uh, been brought out for schools doing uh, the best efforts with online learning, but ultimately you want to see children back in the classroom. And when Boris Johnson says um, very forcefully, as he had in the last couple of hours, from September, I want all schools in England back five days a week as it should be, do you welcome that? Is, this, is that something that is achievable as far as you're concerned and your teachers are concerned? I share the same, same ambition as the Prime Minister. We want all children back as soon as possible. However, there was an announcement that children would return full time before four weeks before the summer holiday. And actually, if we still got a class size cap of 15, it's technically impossible to bring back all children full time. So we'll need to hear from public health to know if they're going to be lifting the class limit of 15. And that will have to then win over the confidence of parents, because in many schools, about 50% of parents are still choosing not to send their children in, even for the eligible year groups. Right, so if you don't get different guidance then, health guidance, between now and September, you're saying that it is not physically possible for you to have all your students back, is that correct? Yes, if I back full time, they'd either y yes. have to come, they'd have to come back full, uh, a part time or they'd have to build 15 additional classrooms and employ 15 additional teachers. So, so that really needs to change for you and presumably for other schools then, for this to be possible in a full time way? Yes, it does. We need to have that guidance in public health that it's safe to start having normal class sizes from September. Uh, and I, I mean, I, I'm interested in in the parents as well. What, what, I mean, could you judge the, the breakdown of the parents who are getting in touch with you saying, please, please, we want you back, we want our children back, we want everything up and running, versus those who, who might say to you, well, I don't, I don't care whether you're open in September, I'm, I'm still not convinced it's going to be safe. There's still a large amount of anxiety in many schools about the, the safety elements. And it's about the safety of the, um, the, the children going back into their homes and, and passing it on to other family members, which we're not quite sure about yet. So we need, we need better guidance, better science around how children pass it on to adults. And then hopefully we can start opening in September with confidence that um, we can do that in as safe a way as possible. All right. Interesting to hear your perspective. Thank you very much, Simon Kidwell. Perhaps we'll talk again nearer the time or when uh, advice changes. Thank you. Head teacher of Hartford Manor Primary School and Nursery in.